as Memorial Day weekend approaches, our local lifeguards are training and scrambling not only to protect the beachgoers, but themselves as well. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has the story from Nassau County. Lifeguards across Long Island are gearing up. Beaches open Friday and these chairs will be occupied. The lifeguard pledge remains. Go to any length to save lives. The job that they have this weekend is going to be a very onerous task. Um, for example, CPR. How are they going to administer CPR? If there's people in the water and they need help, someone's got to be there. Otherwise, close the beaches. State Senator Todd Kaminsky says it's crucial that swimmers obey lifeguards' orders, doing our part to keep them safe, too. If you actually have to rescue someone and possibly perform CPR, even using new technologies like new masks or underwater masks, still put you in a precarious position. So the lifeguards that I'm talking to are really going to run very strict beaches. Doctors say human contact on the beach is a risk. The virus will not live in salt water, and it's certainly not going to live on the sand because it's going to dehydrate. It's about the person-to-person -person contact. To protect lifeguards, swimmers may be asked to remain close to the shoreline, and when rip currents move in, refrain from going into the ocean. Despite potential danger of the COVID-19 spread, state, county, and town officials say so far, summer lifeguards are applying in good numbers, willing to take the risk. Many are career summer lifeguards, says County Executive Laura Curran. The Red Cross is asking the state to extend the certification of lifeguards for 120 days to get through the season. Remember, those lifeguards are there to help protect you, but think about their safety as well. Don't take risks. If they want to do the job, then they could be our first responders. Good for them. No one in line for beach passes wants chaos. Hoping beaches provide some safe recreation for residents without being overwhelmed. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.